everybody! There are a lot of different things that you can read about riding out there. And today what I'm going to talk about... Oh, this aeroplane! Is, um... Common mistakes of new riders and what I have actually done as a mistake. So, one of the things is tipping over your bike. And that basically happens to everyone because I don't care if you're... Uh, a smaller stature person or a large stature person that's like a big hulk if you have something like you know between three and four hundred five hundred pounds hanging out below you that's enough weight to make you tip over if you're unbalanced so one of the things is that um, you know if if you're noticing something weird happening with your bike definitely you can go down like this give it a look don't lean your entire body over to check out what that ticking noise is or whatever it is that's bothering you on your bike. Because what I've done is that I have myself um, tipped over a bike that way. And it's kind of embarrassing when that happens when you're waiting at a stoplight in traffic and all of a sudden you're like, ah, shit, and you drop your bike. I was leaning over to look at something on the side of the, this side of the crankcase to see what that actual problem was. And I leaned over too much to look at what it was and I fell over and that's embarrassing but that happens to everyone um, another thing that happens is in the case of emergency stops so if you're a new rider of course you're gonna be used to using your right foot Woo, hello right foot down there for uh, stopping and going and all that other stuff when you're in traffic because you're just used to it so if something happens you're gonna slam on the brakes you're in your mind you don't even think about it but it's your right foot that goes and slams on the brakes and for a motorcycle that's what controls you know down here the rear brake and when you do that you start locking up the back and you go into a skid um, and I have done that before uh, when I first started riding so that's one of the other mistakes that I have made is too much pressure on the brake on the back brake you always want to put most of the pressure on the front that's where you're gonna stop just like a car. Um, that's why the front brakes are bigger on a motorcycle in the front. That's why the front brakes are bigger on a car in the front. And that's because where all the stopping power comes from. So you need to balance that out. You need to make sure that you're able to, come on guys, get, get over there. Get your coffee and go. Um, like I'm back to saying, you need to make sure that you apply equal pressure or just not really equal pressure, I'm sorry. You, you apply most of your pressure to the front and the rear, but you feel it out and you balance your bike out. You can kind of feel the weight shift. When you're braking too much in the front, it's gonna lurch forward. When you're braking too much in the back, you're gonna run into a skidding motion. The back end's gonna start to slide out um, and that's not good. So that, that's one other thing to look out for. Another thing to kind of go out for is and, and how do you practice that, just go to, go to an empty parking lot and practice your emergency braking. Another thing that catches uh, new riders a lot is slow speed maneuver. So maneuvering within a parking lot, if you're just doing a little tiny turn or whatever, you're going to feel a lot of weight coming down on your bike uh, when you're turning. You're going to feel like you're going to fall over and you're going to kind of kick a foot out or whatever to try to stabilize yourself. Um, just become more comfortable with how you balance your weight when you're using doing low speed maneuvers. I kind of hang over the other side a little bit shift my own personal weight and that'll come to you naturally the more that you ride uh, how to handle low speed maneuvers and become comfortable with it another thing that happens when you're actually a new rider that I have seen happen is um, they become scared when they're riding I don't know I've, I've mentioned it in another other one of my videos don't be afraid when you're riding. Of course, you're going to be nervous the first couple of times you get on a real street on a public roads and start riding. Um, but don't be afraid. I mean, that ruins the entire purpose of riding and your enjoyment of it. I used to be kind of getting nervous when there's traffic around me and I'm riding in traffic or whatever. But don't think about that. Focus on your actual riding. Um, who's in front of you, what the traffic patterns are, who's behind you, all of that stuff that they teach you in the MSF class. And keep practicing that. And another thing is don't be jerky with the throttle in the middle of a damn turn. And don't hit the brakes either in the middle of the damn turn. Once you've committed to a turn, turn. Alright? And then slowly put in the throttle. 
when you're turning. That's what you need to do. Do not let off the throttle all of a sudden. Do not jerk the throttle in um, in the middle of a turn because you're gonna run into a lot of troubles when you do that. You're gonna go run wide or you're gonna panic and low side or flip over the handlebars or whatever because you decide to hang on to the brake when you shouldn't have hung on to the brake. Wow, this guy's running like a motherfucker. Um, anyways, so that's my basic tips on riding a motorcycle and what to avoid when you're new because hey, we've all been there. There's no shame in it. We all make mistakes when we're riding. So that's it for now. Till next time guys, talk to you later. That 7-Eleven sells beer from 7 a.m. to 1 a.m. every day. That's incredible. You can go right in there any day in the morning and get that beer.